What's up? Sorry, I didn't answer your call. Who said my name? Grace. Oh, where's she at? Hmm. Hey. I'm good. I'm recovering. Are you hurting? No, actually, it was a very painless process. So, yeah. So I decided to drop in. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog here at Loudmouth. So, doing my best to not really move my jaw around very much. What's up, Gray Gray? Hey. How are you? I feel bad for you. <laughs> Why? Because you look like you're in pain. <laughs> no, no. No, it was really bad. The vlog. If you're watching this, that vlog has already come out. So, but yeah, it was, it was really rough. It was really rough, but thankfully, Dr. Hopkins and Murata, man, they really know how to treat patients. So, all I, ibuprofen, that's about it. It was like really painless, like really. Yeah. If I would've known, I would've like set you all together. So, this is what we've got going on. I'm trying not to move my jaw that much, so hopefully you guys can hear me well enough. But anyways, so this is Brent, and they're wrapping his Mercedes. What is this, a matte gray? It is a matte dark gray. I'd say like a matte charcoal satin. It's more of a deep satin. matte black. Matte black? Matte, is it really? Yeah. Is it deep matte black? It, yeah, it's different though. It's like a special matte black. I don't say, it looks, it looks kind of gray to me, but... Yeah, that's what I would say. It's yeah, good to me. it's a deep... Matte charcoal something. Yeah, it's different than regular matte, matte black. Does this have texture to it? Regular matte black when they're oh, cheap, okay. but... Wouldn't matte, wait a minute. So like hey, this. wouldn't matte have like a texture, like a softer, smoother texture to it? No. No? No, oh, this is... I'm going crazy. Matte. Hmm. Gotcha. Well, anyway, so... I'm going to start dropping loudmouth vlogs once a week. So, this is what they're working on now. We've got some other bonus footage for you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and, right now, I'm gonna go ahead and insert that in here. So if you're new to this, this whole Loudmouth channel, go ahead and hit the, hit the subscribe button. What's the C10 doing back in here? Oh, uh, we gotta do some touch up. Also in the shop tonight, we've got our mechanic Jackson over here. Who's this guy? Uh, I'm sorry? Intern. Intern, my name is Prof Bully. All right, what's up? Good to meet you, man. I'm the vlogger here. I do uh, content, so so every time I'm around, there's probably a camera in my hand. So <laughs> Glad you're okay. Oh, I'm, I'm recovering. I'm doing right. good, yeah, yeah. Mashed potatoes, ice cream. All of the above, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been there. My mom's been doctoring me. Good. Oh, yeah. They do. Spoiling me, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what we're got working on right now, we're still working on the R8. So, I'm going to actually throw some R8 footage in here as well. Go ahead right now. have arrived hey man yeah. so you got some turbos on there for us huh yeah, yeah. yeah. the turbos have arrived the, the turbos, turbos have arrived that's all the sauce right there, there it is man all right so special delivery from sheepy race out in california I feel like a kid unboxing his christmas present it's gonna be fantastic Ooh, look at these goodies. Rolling anti-lag coming right up. Yes, yes, I love it. Low tech for the win, guys. This is just like unwrapping a present. This is fantastic. Goodies. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. What do we have 
out here. Very excited about this, guys, as you can tell. We're gonna go fast. Oh, someone's at the front door. Why, hello, beautiful. Ew. So gorgeous. Oh. Okay, first bit of merch. Here it is. Looky there. Got some cheapy race apparel t-shirt. A-okay right there. Oh, these are nice too. These are embroidered. This is very high quality nonsense. Okay, this is very nice. Ah. Another embroidered t-shirt. Yes. Ooh, so very nice. Got some plumbing. Very cool, very cool, very, very high quality components. I mean, do you see the quality? I bet Alex handcrafted these himself. Say, a new radiator. They better have spray painted their sheep on here. Ooh. Ooh, talk about pretty stuff. Look at this. I mean, I mean, it's not every day you see welds like this quality. Look at those dimes. Very, very high quality stuff right here, guys. What the F is this? Just kidding. Looks like the can that they put flubber in. What the hell is this? That's cool. Wow. So there's your ice box, right? Yeah. For your cold air. What's up, Loudmouth fam? It's Jackson here. Today we're gonna talk about the R8 build, okay? It's right here above me. Obviously, you guys know, twin turbo kit. We're gonna do a lot of different things to it. Right now, we're just gonna talk about the intake manifold, what we've done to the fuel system to get ready for E85. That's one of the big boosters we're gonna get in horsepower is running E85. So, Daniel, if you wanna come over here and show these guys, we've got injector dynamics injectors. There's 10 of them, obviously, guys. It's a V10. So we got five here, five here on the fuel rail. We've got new pigtails hooked up for the injectors. Some of the uh, some other stuff we had to do, we had to get these fittings welded on the fuel rail here and here. That's gonna be our supply. That's where the fuel is gonna actually enter the rails. And we are not using any of the old factory rubber hoses we're, we're going with all nice braided lines for the e85 and they will just thread on there perfectly and we won't have any problems no leaks nothing when you deal with these guys uh, a couple other things i wanted to show you guys there's a line here that runs between the fuel rails i get i think it's to equalize the pressure so of course that old rubber line's gone we got nice braided line there and last thing This hose actually was a crankcase, crankcase vent and it ran between both valve covers and it ran, I'm sorry, I just said valve covers. It ran between both intake manifold plenums and equalized the pressure it ran through the middle and back into the intake system. But anyway, so we're capping that off. We're gonna cap both of those off and delete that. 
and there's a couple other um, lines in there I got to tee off and hook back up into this but really guys that's where we at that's where we're at so far that was just the fuel system so that kind of give you a perspective of how much stuff we're actually doing um, transmissions back in, upgraded clutches in the transmission, transmissions torque to spec, transmission mounts in, wiring harnesses hooked back up. So really, getting ready for E85, and then we can start slapping on the big turbo parts, the good stuff. Hope that you guys enjoyed the B-roll footage there with this little bit of music. So, Jackson, kind of give us an update. Where are we at with this build? Uh, right now we're working on the fuel system. Okay. Uh, we're running huge injectors in a different fuel type we're running e85 which is 85 percent ethanol okay uh but anyway hey what's this part right here that's our new auxiliary pump auxiliary it's going to increase the fuel pressure it's just a kind of like a fuel pump extra cool. fuel pump. what about this what's that coolant reservoir coolant reservoir Trick with antifreeze yeah cool but we've got lines cut and we're running new lines in from this pump to the two existing fuel pumps back here so where are the fuel pumps at uh behind the seat okay you, yeah you can see them. let's go ahead and take a look inside real quick i want to see the work yeah I'm, I'm about to freak out whoa what happened Whoa! Screwdriver, and she just went. <laughs> they gave Sloan. Okay, here at Loudmouth. Okay, Sloan is my niece. We call her Sloanie Baloney sometimes. Or Sloanie. She's a little adorable shop girl. So, if you follow us on Instagram, then you'll know who she is. So, but yeah, she's a little cute blondie, just like her mommy. Our mechanic gives one hundred and ten percent. Thank you, man. So we are deeply appreciative of him and all of his hard work. This one man, this one mechanic takes care of a lot of different builds that come in. He just finished up a lift kit project, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, your dad went uh, and got it aligned, but yeah, six inch rough country lift on in two days without any issues. Hmm. Fought through some rust, but everything went together smooth. So he does he does a lot for us, so we're greatly appreciative of Jackson. So I'm going to be, uh, you know what, as a matter of fact, I'll put his link right here. So if you guys want to go follow him on Instagram, y'all can go ahead and show him some love. You know, blow up his DMs. <laughs> so you got any honeys in your DMs yet, Jackson? Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm not answering. No, no honeys. No honeys in your DMs. Oh. I'm in trouble. Oh, snap. No way. No way. <laughs> no, but uh, so we got some cool builds that are all happening. So over the course of the week, you guys are going to see, over the course of this vlog, or actually... Of course, the several vlogs that we put out here, you guys are going to see these things come and go. So make sure that you guys smash that subscribe button. You guys hit the uh, notifications bell so you don't miss a video from us. And follow us on Instagram at Loudmouth Motorsports. And with that, this is my first day back from all my wisdom teeth. So I'm actually going to go and create some real relationships. So love y'all, fam. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's Tuesday. See you later. Yeah. What's up, you guys? It's Tuesday, day number two of the week. I think I may close this vlog out here, though, because I don't want this vlog to be too lengthy for the viewer, for the subscriber. So if you're still watching this, thank you so much. Go ahead, hit subscribe, and ring the bell to turn on the notifications. We have roll in a Toyota Supra, a white Toyota Supra. <laughs> I'm not sure what we're doing to this. Jackson, what are we doing to it? Doing to what? Uh, your brother said it was like some graphics and cosmetic stuff. So cool. Maybe some two-tone wrap or some cool multicolor stuff. I don't know. Let mm -hmm. him do it. Cool. So here's where we're at with um, Brent's build or Brent's wrap here. So we've got the uh, cover on the front here. This whole side looks to be about done. That's pretty cool. Got all the sides up here. Finished as well. Got the trunk complete, the back bumper on there. So this one's coming together pretty well. We got the um, hood wrapped pretty good. So glad to see things are coming together. Hey, Jackson, when are you leaving? Do what? When are you leaving? Um, I don't really know. Your brother told me to punch out, and then he said, let's go to the store together. Hmm. So. I think we're going to go make a run for supplies we need for tomorrow. Okay. And since I'm such a nice guy, I guess I'll do that for him. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have so many builds happening right now. Uh, the excursion, this is actually my... Whoa, I'm blind right now. Hold on. This is actually my dad's truck right here. We got Rachel. And here she's buffing it. There's a paint correction to it. So they've been working on that all day long. So... Super smooth, super clean. Look at that. There's not even a scratch on there. 
a paint correction done correctly. So, anyways, guys, we're gonna do a part two to this vlog for the week because the uh, filler for Brent's car and the ketchup for the R8 took up a, a better chunk than I was expecting. So, um, anyways, guys, let's see, where's Elliot at? Oh, there he is. Say hi to the vlog, Elliot. What's up? All right, so guys, this is where actually we're, we're gonna end it. It's gonna be a to be continued vlog, so it's only Tuesday. Anyways, love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and following all of us on our Instagrams. We will see you in the next video. Peace.